The respiratory system of the cat um, involves uh, the ability to breathe both through the uh, oral cavity and the nasal cavity. And in mammals, unlike uh, the typical tetrapod scenario, uh, the oral cavity and nasal cavity are separated by the hard palate and the soft palate. And so the uh, uh, air can pass through both the oral and nasal cavities. Briefly, the airway is shared in the oral and laryngopharynx until it is separated once again because the epiglottis closes over the glottis and thus can prevent um, food from going into the uh, larynx, the trachea, and the airway. Thus, food is shunted into the uh, esophagus. So here, you can see that the epiglottis, a part of the larynx, uh, can close over the glottis, uh, which is the opening to the larynx and thus the trachea. And that then is distinct from the tube which is posterior to that, the esophagus. And so food can then pass into the uh, esophagus, being directed away from the airway. The larynx is made of a number of small cartilages, which fuse, before forming the trachea, which in amniotes is lengthened. The trachea is lined uh, with C-shaped rings of cartilage. One can feel the cartilage on the anterior surface, but on the posterior surface, there is only smooth muscle. This allows the trachea to change its uh, diameter. Uh, the esophagus, in contrast, is simply lined by muscle. It is not kept open by rings of cartilage. The uh, trachea descends until it splits into primary bronchi, which then subdivide into secondary bronchi, uh, which then enter the lobes of the lung. There is one secondary bronchus for each lobe of the lung. Uh, there is one more lobe of the lung, um, in cats and humans on the right side than on the left. So in cats, there is there are three on the uh, left-hand side and four on the right, while in humans, there are two lobes on the left-hand side and three on the right. Uh, the volume of the thorax is changed by muscles. One can observe between the ribs there are intercostals. These are the internal intercostals, which will uh, decrease the volume of the thoracic cavity, as opposed to the external intercostals, um, uh, which will increase the volume of the thoracic cavity. And in mammals, there is a muscular diaphragm which separates the heart, which has been removed, and the lungs and the thorax with the organs of the abdominopelvic body cavity. And so this was an adaptation for mammals uh, so that they could bring more air into their lungs with each breath.